Hello and welcome to the video. My name is Talha Saleem and today we will be discussing the topic arc length and area of sector of a circle. Before we formally begin, let's look at the learning outcomes of this particular lesson. At the end of this video, you will be able to calculate the area of sector of a circle. You will also be able to calculate arc length and perimeter of sector of a circle. Let's take a quick look at the roadmap that we'll be following for the next few minutes. Firstly, we'll recall our knowledge about the figure circle. We'll then introduce some important terminologies such as sector and arc length. Afterwards, we'll look at the formulas associated with these concepts which will eventually lead us to some examples. So let's get started. From our previous knowledge, we can recall that the figure we are seeing on the screen right now is a circle. And the line segment that joins the center of the circle to any part on the boundary is called radius. We can also recall two important formulas, area of a circle given by pi r square and the circumference of the circle which is given by the formula 2 pi r. But here, we are not really concerned with the whole figure circle. We are rather concerned with a portion of this figure that just appeared in yellow color on the screen. This portion is called sector of a circle. And we are also concerned with this red line. It's called an arc and its length is termed as arc length. So let's define the concepts that we just studied in the previous slide. A sector of a circle is a region bounded by two radii and one arc length. Whereas arc length is defined as length of small part of the circumference. Now let's look into the concept of major and minor sector. When we draw a sector in a circle, we're basically dividing the circle into two parts as shown on the screen right now. One part is smaller in size, which is colored green, is called minor sector. The other part, obviously bigger in size, that's colored blue, is called major sector. Now we know that the total angle measure of a circle is 360 degrees. So if the angle of minor sector is 108, we can simply subtract it from 360 to get the value of angle of the major sector, which in this case is 252 degrees. We're now introducing ourselves to some very important formulas. As we can see in the figure, M is the angle subtended by the sector, whereas R is the radius of the circle. The area of sector is given by the formula m over 360 degrees into pi r square. m over 360 is nothing but a fraction of the circle which when multiplied by the area of the circle pi r square gives us the value of area of the sector of a circle. The same fraction m over 360 when multiplied by the circumference that is 2 pi r gives us the value of arc length. The formula for arc length is m over 360 degrees into 2 pi r. Now the perimeter of a circle can simply be calculated by adding the boundaries of the sector. It obviously has two radii and one arc length. So the formula for perimeter is given by 2r plus arc length. Let's look at an example. Find the area of minor and major sector of the given circle. So for minor sector, the value of M, which is the angle subtended by the smaller sector is 100 and the value for radius is 10 meters. The formula we studied for area of a sector is given by M over 360 into pi r square. Simply putting the values of M as 100 and R as 10, we get the answer 82.27 square centimeters. Now for major sector. The only thing that will be changed in the formula is the value of M. As you can see in the figure as well that the green colored portion is the major sector and the angle subtended by this sector is 260 degrees. So putting the value of M as 260 and radius as 10, we get the answer for area of sector as 226.92 square centimeters. The second example, find the length of minor and major arc of the given circle. As you can see in the figure also that minor arc has been colored green from A to B and the angle subtended by this sector is 60 degrees. So using the formula for arc length that is M over 360 into 2 pi R and putting the value of M as 60 degrees, we get the answer 9.42 centimeter. Now the major arc has been colored purple 
and the angle of this major sector can be simply calculated by subtracting 60 from 360 degrees using the value of m as 300 and r will remain same as 9 centimeters the formula for arc length is m over 360 into 2 pi r and the value we get for the major arc is 47.12 centimeters Now this final example is actually a continuation of the previous one. The same figure is given and we have to find out the perimeter of minor and major sector for the circle. For minor sector, the perimeter will be calculated by the formula 2R plus arc length. The value of R is 9 and we calculated the value of arc length in the previous slide as 9.42 cm. Addition of both gives us 27.42 cm which is the perimeter for minor sector. Now for the major sector, the formula will remain the same, but the value of arc length will be changed that we calculated in the previous slide as 47.12. Adding both the values will give us the answer as 65.12 centimeters. So here is another example. I'd request you to pause the video for a few minutes and calculate the values on your own. The answers to these questions will be displayed in a while. So these are the answers to the given questions. I hope your solution matches the one shown on the screen. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope the content was helpful in clearing your concepts regarding the topic. Stay safe and stay blessed.